So to perform the stockpile calculation, uh, Justin's going to go into the volumes application. Uh, he's going to go ahead and start a new surface and he's going to take off doing the measuring. So first step, he's uh, walking around the perimeter of the pile, uh, taking shots all the way around it so we get a good boundary. All right, so now that he's got the boundary complete, he's gonna uh, start going over the top of the pile, uh, hitting the apex on each side. So uh, that way it triangulates the uh, surface up to each side of the pile. He's gonna go up and down it, hitting the low spots, left to right. Nice thing about the tilt rover, uh, he doesn't have to bubble up the pole or anything. He can just go left and right, uh, tagging points, make it really quick work of it. Once he's got the whole thing completed, uh, basically the job is done. Right now he's just uh, accepting his, uh, his surface, saving it. So now he's just going to uh, select the surface and he's going to uh, go into calculate volumes, select stockpile, and then you have your volume calculation numbers to know exactly how many cubic yards you have here. And 66.57, I would have been a little off on the guess there.